Uh, welcome to the Two Minute Prophecy. Uh, today, we're starting in chapter 11. Uh, we're talking about the two witnesses. And in general, I just want to talk to you a little bit about the two witnesses. Um, they are two beings that are going to be at the Wailing Wall uh, that will be uh, preaching the good news about Christ and giving warnings about the tribulation and, and things that are happening and judgment that's being passed. Uh, these two witnesses are protected by God for about three and a half years, and during that time, anyone who tries to hurt them uh, is said that fire comes from their mouth, mouths and consumes anyone who tries to stop them. Uh, and so what about these two beings that we know? Uh, would they be uh, angels? Probably not, uh, because these are two uh, witnesses, two beings that uh, people are not going to just... Um, uh, not relate to. They're gonna. They're gonna relate to them how they look. They'll probably be human beings, and uh, what some scholars believe is it could be Moses and Elijah, uh, based on things that they can do. So let me read through part of this, and we'll be done. And then I was given a measuring stick, and I was told, "Go and measure the temple, uh, and of God and the altar. I will give power to my two witnesses, and they will be clothed in sackcloth and will prophesy during those 1260 days, three and a half years." These two prophets are the two olive trees and two lampstands that stand before the Lord of all the earth. If anyone tries to harm them, fire flashes from the mouths of the prophets and consumes their enemies. This is how anyone who tries to harm them must die. They have power to shut the skies so that no rain, that's Elijah, will fall uh, for as long as they prophesy. And they have the power to turn the rivers and oceans into blood, that's just like Moses, and to send every kind of plague upon the earth as often as they wish. When they complete their testimony, the beast that comes up out of the bottomless pit will declare war against them. He will conquer them and kill them, and their bodies will lie in the main street of Jerusalem, the city which is called Sodom in Egypt, the city where their Lord was crucified. And for, and for that reason, we think they're Jewish. Uh, and for three and a half days, all peoples, tribes, languages, and nations will come to stare at their bodies. No one will be allowed to bury them. All the people who belong to this world will give presents to each other to celebrate the death of the two prophets who had tormented them. But after three and a half days, the spirit of life uh, from God entered them, and they stood up, and terror struck all who were staring at them. Then a loud voice shouted from heaven, Come up here. And they rose to heaven in a, loud, in a cloud as their enemies watched. And that's your two-minute prophecy.